Buenos días, señorita. Take a look at that guy that just walked in, Stoddard. Never seen him before. Well, I did, when I was sold in Arizona. And yeah, what about him? Well, he's Kit Carson. I wonder what he's after. Are you kidding? He's probably here to wipe us out unless we wipe him out first. Yeah, well, we'll take care of that. I never thought we'd get a break like this. Is the boss around? I own the place. I'd like a room, uh, maybe for a week. Oh, listen to what the man says. He wants a room. <laughs> Look, mister, I haven't had a room here in weeks. I got 10 and 20 sleeping on the floor some nights. You better start traveling, stranger. There ain't no place around here. And besides, the nights are plum frigid. Yeah, Sonora's not so far away. You'd be smarter to move on. But my business is here in Columbia. Oh. Well, much obliged. I gave you a chance to get out of town, Carson, but you didn't take it. He just tried to kill a man that wasn't armed. Let's get rid of him quick and legal. No, we got to give him a fair trial. I'll be the prosecuting attorney. You be the judge. Shorty can be the complaining witness. All right, go ahead, Mr. Prosecutor. Well, Judge, this here Carson walks into the hotel, takes a shot at a man that wasn't armed, one of our respectable and upright citizens, Shorty Dawson. Now, I think Carson had every intention of shooting Shorty down in cold blood. Now, in my opinion, Judge, I think we ought to make an example of this case and have a necktie party. I think you're right. Give me a rope. Ah. I'm ready, amor mio. Hang him to the balcony up there, boys. Who was that with Carson? I don't know. I never got a good look at him. When Carson grabbed my gun, I ducked for cover like you did. Where were you? Well, I kept the horse's head like you said. I told you to stay near in case of trouble. I, I was near, and when I saw you were in trouble, I came in fast like a bolt of lightning. Now, where were you? Having free holies with some pretty senorita? Oh, that's not true, Kit. I was helping some poor old woman with her washing. How old? Well, a cavaliero doesn't ask a woman her age. Why didn't we stay in town and fight it out? I didn't want him to get a good look at you. Why not? I'm proud to be seen fighting at your side. We might have to send you back in there. Someone in there recognized me. They gave me a warm reception. But I don't think they got a good look at you. Let's go. Reverend, someone at that hotel recognized me. You were lucky to get out of there alive. My wife and I have been worried about you. I was afraid your idea might not work. I had to find out something. We know that's where they plan their robberies, but I had to find out where they got their information. I rent the room there and find out for you. I haven't the right to let you take such risks. Oh, what's a little risk? It'll be a pleasure. And a duty. No, you and El Toro will make your home with us while you're here. That's very nice of you, but... Uh, after what happened at the hotel, that'll make you one of their targets. Well, I picked this town to start a church because I was told it was the most lawless mining camp in California. Fine battleground to meet the devil. Uh, who represents the law in this town? A man named Peterson. He was elected justice of the peace by Stoddard and his hangers-on. Buenos dias, senora. Good morning to you, El Toro. Good morning, ma'am. Kid, if you don't stop treating me with such formality, I'll have to call you Mr. Carson. All right, Letty. 
I have Jody settled for you, dear. You shouldn't have settled, Jody. You've got enough to do. I found another dead mire down the mountainside. He'd been robbed and killed like the others. Well, we'll help you bury him. Maybe we can pick up something on the trail that'll tell us something. Do you know anything about him? Do you know his name? No, I don't. He was headed northwest. That means he was on his way back home with the gold he had dug. Now, I'm telling you for the last time, I'm not sending for any doctor. So quit your belly aching and shut up. If you'd done your job right, you wouldn't have gotten hurt. And we'd be all through with Carson. Carson ain't the Reverend's house now. Nobody's there but his wife. Uh, we could go over there tonight and finish off the Reverend and his wife, but the miners ever found out about it, they'd side with Carson and go against us. Well, they could meet with an accident. Their house could catch fire and burn up with them in it. Ah, no, the first smell of smoke, they'd step out the window if they couldn't get to the door. Now, let's go back over this thing. The Reverend Davis sends for Carson to come here and wipe out sin. Yeah, that's us. Yeah. That means that the Reverend Davis must stand pretty high with Carson, or he wouldn't have come here and stuck his nose into this thing. Well, Davis was a chaplain in the Army one time. Maybe they soldiered together. Yeah. I was thinking, if the Reverend Davis could persuade Carson to come here, maybe the Reverend Davis could induce him to leave, huh? Well, I don't know. From what I've heard about Carson, he ain't no dog on a chain. You can't let him out and pull him back. When he starts out on the job, he don't quit for nobody. Shorty, you inspire me without even opening your mouth. Come on, course. I know how we'll get rid of this, Carson. I commend this soul to thy keeping, O Lord. Forgive his sins and remember his good deeds. And grant to his loved ones the strength to bear their loss. Amen. your arm over my shoulder and I'll help you into the house. Here, sit here. I'll have a look at that arm. Oh, don't worry about me. It's my partner. He's in bad shape. What happened to him? Well, he was cutting wood outside of her cabin. I was sitting on the porch writing a letter. The axe flew off the handle and hit him in the head and then bounced over and Cut my arm. Where is your cabin? The last claim up Snow Creek, about a mile past Kearney's Flats. They told me he's a nurse, that's why I come here. He's unconscious, ma'am. You stay here until I get back, and then I'll have a look at that arm. Well, the bandage looks bad, but it ain't bleeding much, Sal. If you'll just take care of my partner, I'll sure be mighty grateful. I'm leaving a note for my husband. I'll be sure and give it to him. I'll have to take your mule. Yes, ma'am. Go right ahead. God bless you. She doesn't know when she's called away for an emergency. She knows I worry when she's out alone. Letty! Letty! I can't understand Letty not leaving a note. I found this on the floor. From the way it's folded, it must have been on someone's arm. Oh, that explains it. Letty gets many calls for nursing because we don't have a doctor here in Columbia. I'd like to have a look around outside.
How far is it to the last claim up Snow Creek? Oh, about 10 or 12 miles. If we hurry, maybe we can overtake her. Kit Carson leaves this part of the country. Letty, let me see it. That's Letty's handwriting all right. But of course she wrote it under a threat, so it means nothing. Well, we could leave and come back later. Letty would never forgive me if I suited their tricks to save her. woman I've seen in a year, and the most beautiful senorita I've ever seen. Where have you been, caballero, that you have not seen a woman in a year? In jail? <laughs> no, I've been at the headwaters of the Tuolumne River, high in the Sierras, so high that my cabin was buried by the snow all winter. I hibernated like a bear. of walking. Perhaps one of his men. Joaquin Murieta? That braggart? No. I'm just an honest miner coming back from a year of digging. You are luck, senor. Was it good, I hope? I'm a rich man. I have gold such as Cortez never saw. I got the strength of ten men, but I couldn't carry away from that mountain all the gold that I kicked out of it with this shoe. And where are you going now, senor? Well, I stay here. I would wash. I would sleep in a bed. I would rest. I would look into your beautiful face. Here comes the owner. The senor has just come from his claim in the High Sierras. He wants a room. Uh, what's your name? El Toro. Where is your claim? At the headwaters of the Tuolumne. I was there all winter. The snow was so deep I was buried in it. I had to hibernate like a bear. You know, it's not generally known, but the grizzly bear snores when he hibernates. Did you ever hear a grizzly snore? No. Oh. All right, all right. Do you have any luck? He is rich. I'll pay for my room now. Well, that'll do for room and board, but it doesn't look like any rich man's book. Being an honest innkeeper, you wouldn't believe this. But I've heard that there are villains so base they would rob a miner of the gold it took him years to dig. Uh, where'd you put the gold you took out? <laughs> I buried it on the edge of town. Oh, uh, well, come on, I'll show you to your room. How do you like this? Oh, it's like a palace. Is there anything else you want? Well, if you could tell me where I could get a wash tub. I'll have one sent up with some hot water. Why are you so nice to me? Tell him. Because we like you. I must go now and get dressed for work. For work? One so lovely as you shouldn't have to work at all. What do you do? I am a fandango girl. I dance with the miners at night. <laughs> From now on, you'll dance only with me. Oh, you dance, senor. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Rosita, Mr. Stoddard wants to see you. Forgive me for looking at you, but you're the first woman I've seen in a year and the most beautiful one I've ever seen. You flatter me. Perhaps you will come and dance with me tonight. I must leave now. Now, uh, un momento. <clears throat> when is supper? In a little while. The cook is Mexican, I hope. A Chinaman. Oh, those cookers of rice and tea. Then I guess I'll have to cook myself. Uh, frijoles, that's what I want, frijoles. Will you go down to the cook and tell him I'll be there shortly to show him how it's done? you have anything to worry about. They won't mistreat her as long as they think there's a chance she might accept their offer. <laughs> what is that? El Toro. He doesn't want to be seen coming to the door. Someone's watching the house. Have you heard anything about my wife? I've seen her. She's unharmed, but she's being held a prisoner in an old deserted miner's cabin. I follow the man who took food to her and two guards. How does she look? <laughs> Beautiful. Here's the way to the place. Where the trail is difficult, I left our signs. I know the place. Good work, Toro. You have to watch when you leave here. I go now because I don't want to be away from the hotel too long. I don't think we should even go back there. Have you forgotten why we came here? So far, we don't have any proof that Stoddard and his gang are behind all these murderies and robberies. If you could get some red-handed trying to rob me. Yeah, then we could take them to the county headquarters and rid Columbia of this entire gang. Now, here's my plan. What's the matter? You look unhappy, and it's such a beautiful day. You have the aching belly, see? There. Look, the Senorita Dolores, as beautiful as the sunshine. Mucho gusto en verle, amada. You look very handsome this morning, El Toro. <laughs> I'm clean. The bath and the long sleep in the luxurious bed have made a new man of me. You didn't come and dance with me. Oh, this pains me. I slept, and now I'm so refreshed that I'm ready to continue my journey. You are going to leave me? Well, I'll be back. First, I have my fortune to invest, and then I'll return for more gold. Where are you going? To Sonora, and then by stage to Sacramento. Do you leave now? Oh, no. Tonight, I dance with you. I start out at daybreak tomorrow. The road is dangerous. Bandits look all along it. Take the trail. I'll follow your advice. I'll show you the trail later. Guess who? Uh, the, the most beautiful senorita in North California. Ah. Why did you not come to dance with me last night? Well, I was so exhausted, I just tumbled onto my bed and I stayed there. You look refreshed. Yesterday, it broke my heart to see you looking so tired. I said to myself, there is a man who has been on the trail for weeks, suffering great hardships and dangers. And I'm so refreshed that I'm ready to continue my journey. Oh, I am sorry. But perhaps you will come back someday. Very soon. Where do you go when you leave here? To Sonora, and then I take the stage to Sacramento. Take the trail to Sonora. The road is dangerous. 
There are bandits along every mile. You'll show me this trail, amor mio. Now, if you wish. They go start out on his men. On their way to ambush El Toro, just as he expected. I wonder why they just don't follow El Toro and wait for him to dig up his treasure. They want to wait until after that. And do it in a place where they won't have any eyewitnesses. to lose you. I am going with you. No, you're not. You go back to the hotel. You see, I can help you. And I'm going to save your life. What? Did you hear some men right away from the hotel when you were getting up? What about them? They have gone ahead to the trail. They will wait at the forks to rob and kill you. I betrayed you to them. But I could not sleep at all last night. I had to come and warn you. El Toro, I love you. I will show you another trail. Please go back to the hotel. You warn me, and that's enough. You must not go by the trail to Sonora. El Toro, you'll be robbed and killed. It's very kind of you to warn me, and I thank you. Now go back to the hotel, both of you. They will kill me. Please let me go with you, El Toro. Starred is a bandit, and I will betray you to him. But last night I could not sleep. I love you. <laughs> Two girls with him. Stoddard's girls. You can always depend upon El Toro to ruin everything with a girl. Only this time it's two of them. Please, El Toro, let's turn off this trail. We should all be careful. <sighs> fool. Let's get away from here quickly. He'll turn back any minute. Give me the sack. You look tired. Let's hide it and come back and divide it later. It is mine. I saw him first. Give it to me. Oh. The cheat! Robber! Liar! Thief! No man can be trusted. None! Kid, you don't talk to me. Stoddard is in jail with his men who weren't killed. There'll be an honest election for the justice of the peace, and the Fandango girls ran out of town. That's just it, those girls. You pretty near ruined everything with those girls. El Toro! El Toro! You're right, kid. No more women. I swear it. 